DACA supporters celebrated outside the Supreme Court yesterday, many so-called dreamers acknowledge there will be more legal battles to stay in the United States. CBS News contributor Maria Elena Salinas spoke to some of them to get their reaction, and she joins us now. Maria Elena, good morning. So they went from celebration to more concern. What did you learn? Good morning, Tony. Well, while dreamers across the country are breathing a sigh of relief, knowing that their safety, their jobs, and their access to school is secure for now, what we heard, the refrain that we heard over and over again, is that this fight isn't over. From the steps of the Supreme Court to Texas and California, undocumented dreamers celebrated Thursday knowing the DACA program would continue. What was it like when you heard the decision this morning? Uh, it definitely felt uh, surreal. It's definitely been feeling like a huge weight off my shoulders. Ana Guevara was brought to the U.S. when she was nine. Rich Nevi Lopez Canada. was four. And for these recent college graduates, DACA is a lifeline. I dream about going to grad school, but it's very hard when you don't, when you're living in a city of limbo. So that's what it means, like that there is like somewhat of a future. Neri, what is your life like living in limbo? When I graduate college, like I know that there's an uncertainty every month of whether there'll be a decision, and living in that uncertainty has definitely been a huge. Um, overwhelming feeling every day for me, knowing that I, it's not just me, but also for my family. That fear of life without Taka was shared by Ricardo Aka, who came to the U.S. as a teenager. I was living in the shadows. I was trying to get by. I was lying because I guess at the time, um, you don't know what your status could potentially affect your entire family. Aka marched against the Trump administration's decision to end the program. And he hopes the court's ruling is a message to those who are struggling. Before I had come out of the shadows, I didn't really have a community. I did not know other, other folks with DACA. I think for those folks that, you know, might not have been eligible, I think, I hope they know that we're fighting because I think everyone deserves respect and dignity. And, and uh, I, think, I think that's essentially the goal. Guevara and Lopez feel relieved. But like Aka, they know the fight isn't over. My family and I belong here. My community definitely belongs here. And that we are here and like we are going to continue our fight for a permanent solution. These dreamers told us that the original dreamers are their parents who came to this country in search of a better life. So they will continue to push for a permanent solution on Capitol Hill. Also, yesterday's Supreme Court decision could open the door to thousands of young undocumented immigrants who had originally not qualified for the program or who had been excluded from the program during the Trump administration. Gail. Maria Elena, thank you. It must be nice to wake up in the morning and not have your life in limbo. Dream come true for the dreamers. And that Key Biscayne background, stunning, really stunning. Good to see you.